All right, hey everyone. I have got something extremely, extremely cool for you today. This is a new way to turn ChatGPT into your own personal tutor for any subject you want, but with really a level of complexity that I hadn't seen before and using some very clever tricks. I'm also going to blend that with a tool called Chatbot UI, which I have discussed in prior videos, uh, specifically the one about keeping your data safe. And this allows us to have these types of discussions without worrying if our tutor sessions are gonna, gonna become training data for OpenAI. So without further ado, uh, let's kind of get into this and take a look. Here on the screen, I'm gonna show you two things. On the left, we have a GitHub repository. The link to this repository will be in the description. It is by Josh BJJ, and it is called Mr. Reindeer. Mr. Reindeer is written in a computer language called JSON. Don't worry, ChatGPT knows what that is and how to deal with it. But what it really allows us to do is have an unusual amount of structure for the prompt. I will not be delving deeply into this other than just to show some of the basic things today. You definitely want to see this. On the other side, over here, we have Chatbot UI. Chatbot UI is a, a lovely interface for OpenAI GPT 3.5 and 4. What we're going to do first is I've already gone in and I've created what's called a template in Chatbot UI. When I come in and I type slash R-A-N, you'll see that I get this S slash Mr. Reindeer Tutor. The S slash is my convention just to show the difference between what are called system prompts and what are called user prompts. We're going to be only using the system prompt today to tell ChatGPT that it is our tutor. So with that, let's uh, choose the Mr. Reindeer Tutor. Now you're going to notice that it pops up this really cool form field entry. And what it's asking for, these levels, learning style, communication styles, are the things that are outlined here in the actual GitHub repository. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for uh, level four. Uh, so we just say level four. We're gonna go for a learning style, let's say active. I think that would be nice. Uh, and then let's go for a communication style that is for the ooh, storytelling. Why not? That sounds fun. Uh, and then the tone, why don't we go with a friendly tone. For a reasoning framework, I just want to go with, let's go with deductive. So and look, you can play with these. There's even a mechanism during the tutor session to change these things around. I'll hit submit. Now, what has happened? It has taken this entire script that you see here. It's taken the information that we put into that form and added it to the very end. And I just chose to do it like this because I know for sure, because I tested that it understands this. So now when we come down here and we say, hi, Mr. Reindeer, it doesn't really matter what you say, uh, but I just, I think why not go ahead and be friendly. By the way, this is definitely a GPT-4 prompt. I don't even suggest that you try this. I don't think this would even work uh, with 3.5 because of the context length. But anyways, also preferring to go with a fairly, uh, let's go with a fairly low temperature setting, meaning uh, this tutor will be pretty precise, a little less creative. It's not gonna make a bunch of stuff up and we'll say, hi, Mr. Reindeer. That prompt has now been sent over the APIs over to OpenAI's GPT-4, and you can see that Mr. Reindeer here is introducing itself to us, and it is relaying what we have set our preferences to. These preferences will match what we put into that form in the template that I showed you before. So again, we're mixing some things, right? We're mixing Chatbot UI, a very cool template that we found. I found this on Twitter, and we're using uh, GPT-4. So here we go. Now it's saying, uh, what would you like to learn today? Why don't we learn about combustion engines? I'd like to learn about combustion engines. Why not? Great. Combustion engines are fascinating and widely used. This is absolutely true. And it's going to help us dive into the world of combustion engines with a friendly storytelling approach focused on practical applications. Again, it's confirming our choices for the tutor and it's beginning to give us a lot of information about it. And you'll see it's even kind of making it fun because why? We told it to come at us in a storytelling way. This is great for younger kids in particular, but I mean, shoot, we all love a good story. It's kind of the human condition. When this is done though, what I wanna show you is right now we're kind of having a talk with the tutor, but there's more that we can do. 
there are a number of commands that have been pre-programmed into the system. One of them that's super interesting is called plan. This will ask Mr. Reindeer to create us a lesson plan for teaching about combustion engines. So if I happen to be a teacher, this is a really great tool for thinking and, and coming up with better lesson plans to interact with the students. So you can see he's done here. So here we go. Uh, I would like to make a plan. So I'm just going to type slash plan and I'm going to hit enter and watch what happens. So again, every single time we talked to the tutor, it's going to reinforce these settings we have. And now it's going to write a lesson plan for combustion engines. Then once it creates the lesson plan, we're going to be able to actually follow it. Not only has it given a nice introduction to combustion engines, it's now writing us a lesson plan for combustion engines. And because this system can remember this given conversation, it's going to be possible for us to actually pursue this lesson plan. That is really something. And I, it's truly down a lot to the cleverness of the folks who created this prompt. It's even telling us here uh, what we need to do next if we would like to go ahead and start the lesson plan. So let's do that. Slash start. Here we go. Let's begin our journey. Introduction to combustion engines. I mean, this is amazing. I'm so excited about our ability now to learn anything we want, anytime we want, anywhere we want. This is a deeply democratizing technology. Far from being scared about this technology, let's say I'm a teacher in this case, and I see this and it just terrifies me because I'm like, oh, the AI is gonna take my job, my students aren't gonna to wanna to talk to me anymore. Not at all. You show me one teacher in primary or secondary school that has enough time in the day. Well, this is going to free you up to do the one thing that you really probably desperately want to do more than anything, and that is just spend more time, more person-to-person -person time with your students, because now you don't have to spend several hours researching and creating this lesson plan, but you must use your expertise and your good judgment to make sure this is a good lesson plan. And then that's the thing that you can sit down and go over your students with. It's really quite comprehensive. It's given us an introduction paragraph. It's talked about the four stroke cycle, types of internal combustion engines, and then hands-on activity to reinforce your understanding, conclusion, and Q&A. We've covered the basics. So there we go. So what would you do next? Well, next you would just continue from lesson plan item two types of ices. Let's check ourselves and see what we're doing here. Ah, we've got a mistake. It actually skipped the four strokes. Well, it did it though. Four stroke cycle. It didn't skip it. Oh man, it corrected me. That's crazy. I said continue from number two. It realized that it already did number two, but then <laughs> it skipped over to number three and it's going on and go over the type of internal combustion engines. I hope you can see, this is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a wonderful form of artificially intelligent tutor. This is not an AGI. It's not going to march down and get your job at the school. Uh, this is going to help you if you're trying to teach. This is going to help you if you're trying to learn. And if teachers and students work together with a tool like this, it's only going to accelerate the acquisition of knowledge, the expression of creativity, and so much more. I just am so excited for this. I don't know how many different ways to say it, but uh, enjoy and uh, go and, and learn about anything you can imagine using these tools. If you like this video, I've done another video talking about how to keep your AI data safe. And you can see that video over here. There's an entire series on using what we call tools for thought, right? Which were note taking integrated with artificial intelligence, tools like Rome Research, Tana and LogSeq. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I can't wait uh, to see you again in the next video.